Hi, and welcome to Quick and Easy Quickies. Do you have an ATEM Mini? Do you also have a Rodecaster Pro? And would you like the ability to use the faders on the Rodecaster to control the ATEM audio levels? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do this using an amazing piece of software called Central Control. With a few simple clicks, Central Control can turn your Rodecaster into an additional control surface for your ATEM Mini switcher. So what is Central Control? It's a piece of software that allows you to take control of your show. You can plug in controllers from a wide range of supported partners and then map controls to supported video switchers, lighting consoles, media servers, and audio mixers. Central Control puts every element of your production at your fingertips. I strongly urge anyone out there producing live in-person events or live streaming and virtual events to check out this software. There's three pricing tiers available, so even those on a budget can get their feet wet with Central Control. And unlike many pieces of software today, this is not a subscription model. It's a one-time purchase. And everything I'm going to show you today is achievable with the entry-level tier called Intro. That tier will run you a one-time cost of $79. And I think it's important for me to mention that Central Control has not paid me for this, they aren't sponsoring this video, and I paid for my own Central Control license. I just think this is a wonderful piece of tech that everyone operating in the live event world should have in their tool belt. Hey everybody, it's Editing James. While I was in the middle of making this video, I happened to be having a conversation with the creator of Central Control, and he's offered to give us a license for free that we'll be able to give away on the channel. So make sure you are subscribed and you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on your chance to win a free license of Central Control. Okay, back to the video. So before we start assigning any devices anywhere, make sure you've downloaded and installed your copy of Central Control from centralcontrol.io. The link is in the description. Make sure you've connected your A10 Mini to the same network your PC running Central Control is operating on. And make sure you've connected your Rodecaster to the same computer via USB. A few words of warning before we go any further. Let's understand that this tutorial is designed to let you use your Rodecaster as a control surface for your ATEM. Because this is our intended goal, I strongly advise you to not use your Rodecaster to ingest or control any additional audio sources or destinations like microphones or speakers at the same time you're using its function for the ATEM. Doing so could leave you with some undesirable results. We're assuming here that you have another way to control your audio sources while this is in play. Once you've become an expert in this setup and how it functions, you can use a Rodecaster for some hybrid controlling, and you can find videos about those types of setup on this channel. As soon as they're available, they'll be linked in the description. But that stuff is outside of the scope of this tutorial, and I won't be touching on how to do that today. So with all of that out of the way, let's get into Central Control. Step one is to open Central Control. Click Add Device. From the drop-down list, select Blackmagic Design ATEM. You can change the name if you like, and then click OK. Now, click on Add Device again, and from the list, find the Rode Rodecaster. Again, change the name if you so choose, and click OK. Now, with both devices added to our list, we can connect the devices to Central Control. Click on your ATEM switcher, and in the Device Options panel, you're going to set your IP address of your ATEM switcher. You can find this IP address in the ATEM setup software. In the setup software, click on the file icon and you'll find your IP address in the network section. You can copy this address and paste it directly into the IP address box in Central Control. Now, if you activate the ATEM, you should see ATEM enabled in the information window. Now, select your Rodecaster and make sure the MIDI in and out drop boxes are set to Rodecaster Pro MIDI. Activate the Rodecaster in Central Control and you should see Rodecaster enabled in the information window. For the next step, I'm going to point out my current audio setup in my ATEM. I currently have my four source channels set as individual stereo channels, the way they are by default. But I have my mic input number two split into two mono channels. This type of change is managed in the settings window of the ATEM control software. You click on the cog in the lower left corner, choose the audio tab in the new window, and under split audio, choose the channel you want to split. Now there's two reasons that I've done this. The first reason is because I want to be able to send two separate audio signals into that one input and control them separately. That's how I like to run. 
and I'll have a separate video for you on how this function works. The second reason is because in this tutorial, I want to show you how to map all eight faders on your roadcaster. Please keep in mind, if you start splitting your audio channels, these channels take on an ascending number scheme moving from left to right. So if you split channel one into two mono, those become channel one and channel two. If you split channel two, that becomes channel two and channel three and so on. So as you map your faders in central control, you need to be mindful of how things are split in your ATEM. And if you have them all split, then you're gonna run out of faders on the roadcaster before you're able to map all your ATEM channels. So with that said, let's start fader assigning. In central control, select your roadcaster, click on controls and select faders in the control dropdown. Turn on jump to control. This allows you to move the faders and have the software jump directly to the one that you moved. Now in the command window, select set audio channel level and make sure you've selected audio channel one in the parameters section. Now turn on quick assign. This function allows you to choose the parameters for your first fader and then quickly assign the next logical function to the following faders without having to manually select everything. Now click the plus button. Because we have quick assign on, simply repeat the process of clicking the plus button for the next six faders and central control will assign the correct audio channels for you. Now, if you click back on faders one through seven, you'll see they are correctly assigned to our ATEM faders, including our split microphone channel on fader six and seven. If we look to the ATEM audio window, you can see we are now controlling the faders with our physical device. And please note, the physical faders on your roadcaster do not retain any information that you set inside the ATEM software. So if you have your software window open to the audio panel and you make an adjustment on the computer, that change will not be reflected on the roadcaster. Touching the roadcaster fader will immediately jump your software fader to the position of the physical fader. If you're not prepared for this, it could cause you to boost audio or cut audio in your live event. So consider yourself warned. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is to assign the master fader of the ATEM audio to our sound effect fader on the roadcaster. Using the same process as before, find set master audio level in the commands window and assign it to fader number eight on the roadcaster. In this case, there's no additional parameters as this command only has one location to map to. Okay, we can see this addition is also working. And the final addition to this setup is for us to tell our channel mute buttons on the roadcaster to act as channel on off toggles on the ATEM. In central control, select roadcaster, turn on jump to control and turn on quick assign, select mute one, select toggle audio channel, click plus and repeat for all seven mutes. Now, if we check each button's activity in the ATEM software, we can see that our mute buttons are affecting the ATEM channels. But you might notice that the state of the button is reversed. Our buttons are showing mute, but the ATEM channel is actually on or unmuted. You can fix this by turning the roadcaster off in central control, unmuting your roadcaster buttons, and then turning the roadcaster back on in central control. Now the state of your buttons should match the state of your channels. You'll need to remember this each time you engage your setup. Normally in central control, state changes like this are handled automatically by the software, but due to some shortcomings of the roadcaster, it doesn't allow for that in this situation. And that's it, we're all done. You now have full control of your ATEM faders and channel mutes using your roadcaster pro. This gives you quick tactile access to your audio levels and even gives you the ability to delegate audio control to another person on your production team without having them muddle about in the software during your live event. I hope this tutorial was of some value to you and please remember to like and subscribe if it was. And let us know in the comments what other ATEM Mini, Roadcaster Pro or Central Control tutorials you'd like to see. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Quick and Easy Quickies.